Okay, this week we're looking at some a photographer who works almost purely in black and white. And so we're looking at a lot of great um, black and white photography this week. So I thought a good thing to do would be show you how to convert an image to uh, black and white from color to black and white in Photoshop. Now there's a lot of ways that you can do this in Photoshop. So I'm going to show you one. I've got an image up here and you can see I'm going to turn off this layer right here. And you see the previous image here and is a little overcast, you know, of a church. Um, and then I've done some modifications. You can see a very dramatic uh, shift here into black and white and plus almost like a little bit of, you know, almost like an infrared effect that I was able to apply with the black and white transition here. I'm going to show you how I did that and um, in just a few quick easy steps here. So I'm going to close this down. All right. And let's see here. Close that. And I'll delete this layer and show you how I did it. So all right, so we start off with this image. Let's say this is your image. And what you're going to do is you're going to say, all right, I want to change this to black and white, but I don't want to get rid of my color information. In other words, if I was to go to image mode grayscale, right, and hate discard, well, now it's a black and white image, but I've lost my, my color information, which means I've lost my color channels, which means I, I lose a lot of possibilities on how I can modify this image. So, so that's kind of a destructive move there. So I'm going to undo that control Z. All right. And notice all my channels come back, right? Which is a red, green, and blue channel. There's a lot more information there, a lot more possibilities. So anyway, uh, a, a new move that we can do is using an adjustment layer and you can go to layer, new adjustment layer, and you can go to black and white, or you can go down here to this little icon here and, and click on this and then just go to black and white. All right. And then when you do that, this guy's usually in here somewhere and you'll see I've got this black and white adjustment layer. So my image looks like it's black and white, but if I turn off this eyeball on the black and white adjustment layer, you can see that I, my, my color comes back. And if I want to get rid of this, I just take this layer and drag it to the trash can or click this little trash can, it's gone, right? So I can just take this, drag it to the trash can, and it's gone, all right? So once again, I'll just go down here and go to black and white, and I've got this black and white adjustment layer. And what's really cool about this now is that I can adjust these sliders and adjust the black and white. So I can take this the reds and I can play with them. You can see I can move this up, and that's almost like an an opposite effect. Normally it's a dark building, but I can pull it up almost like an infrared. And I can play with these yellows, right? And and all kinds of stuff. And the blues, darkening the sky a little bit there, right? And the other thing you can do is you can click on this little hand tool here and say, let's say I want to adjust the sky. So I could click on this little hand tool and click right here and then just start dragging sideways to make an adjustment to the sky area. And also I'm going to click on the road here, click there and do uh, another adjustment there. Let's see here. The road, I forgot how I did that. And there we go. So, and then I could just keep playing with these, um, with these settings and modifying my image. If I want to, and I want to see my layer and the adjustment panel, I just pull that off and then I can open up this layer. And once again, there it is. There's the original image and there is the adjustment that I've done and so I've converted to a black and white image. I've got a fairly interesting image and I can save that image. But if I wanted to, I could always um, go back just by, by turning this off or deleting this adjustment layer.